You still haven't told me. Who told you about Sherry? How do you know about her? Fletcher. The time that I went to go see him before I beat him up, I just remember him saying something he about Sherry. Her. How do you know that? I just do. All the girls did. What happened? Fletcher just upped his cut of the profits. She wanted out. He used her as an example for all of us. And what about the police? Did they do anything? No. They said it was an accidental overdose and closed the case. Just another dead hooker strung out on meth. And you're sure it's Fletcher? Who... She was my best friend, Frankie. She didn't do drugs. She used to make me hold her hand when we get blood tested. She hated needles. When they found her, she still had tracks on both of her arms and marks all over her wrist from being tied up. To explain that, Fletcher had one of his girls say that she was into this rough bondage stuff, but that was a lie, too. Somehow I got lucky. Fletcher just let me go. Yeah. But you didn't ask me to meet you here just to talk about that, did you? No. No, I didn't. I, uh, just... Frankie, your dad just walked in. I know. I asked him here, so it was just... But what's going on? Hello again. You said it's urgent. Everything okay? What's the matter? Frankie, is there a reason you wanted me to meet with your dad you're not telling me about? I, um... I'm sorry. I went about this the wrong way. I, I really screwed up. Screwed up what? Well, you know, I just, uh, I just wanted you to get to know Randy, that's all. Well, that's all good, but urgent call? Yeah, I just, I just figured that if you got to know Randy the way I did, you could help mom get over her first impression. Frankie, awkward. Yeah, I know. I, I noticed that as soon as you, he walked through the door. I just, I knew you didn't want me to push it like this. And I knew you were going to say you were too busy with everything you had going on. I just, I didn't think it through. Sorry. Hey, it's okay. Really, it's okay. It's just that I'm so proud of Randy. I mean, she has a new job at Fusion. And I want to say, see... I, I, I want to say, look, nice. look at this woman who has enough strength and courage to pull herself out of a bad situation and make a new start for herself. No, actually, this is, this is great news. Congratulations. Thank you. But this is just... This is actually the perfect opportunity for me to buy you two dinner and to hear a little bit more about your job. How's that? Yeah. Thanks, Dad. It's um, pretty basic stuff, you know, coffee, phones, copying, but it's a start. And it's a great way for her to watch and learn how a business operates. I mean, sales, marketing, distribution. Wow, it's a great opportunity here. Yeah, but actually our head of marketing quit today, Annie Lavery. She just walked out. Wow. See, <laughs> there you have it. You just never know when opportunity is going to... Walk up and knock you right in the head, huh? Listen, I gotta get back to work. Uh, it's really been nice sitting here, getting to know you a little better, and thanks for the phone call. Don't worry about your mother so much, okay? Uh, I got it. You know you don't. See ya. Bye. Later, y'all. So. Listen. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have uh, surprised both of you like that. That was wrong. Yeah, obviously. Now that he's gone, you want to tell me what that was all about?
Yeah, this was just a clumsy way of me trying to make things right with the family. Now, clearly it wasn't very well thought out, and I put both of you guys in a pretty lame position. Will you accept my apology? <laughs> yeah, of course. I guess I just, you know, it's going to take me a while. What? Getting over my past and my past job. I mean, even when I met Kendall and Greenlee, they just kept on going on about taking pictures of me and being the new face of Fusion. Randy, that's great. No, it isn't. I don't want my picture out there. Do you know how many people might recognize me? Blow my only chance of being legit? That's all I need, bring that kind of bad news down on Fusion, their new models and ex-hooker. They'd love me then. Hey. You are going to bury your past. You are going to succeed. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure of that. Yeah, well, don't try so hard, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll give you a call after my shift. Yeah. Thanks, Frankie. Get me enough pills. And Randy, 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 never have to worry about me again. Covered. 